Bugging 1064, I'm doing my sand skis. Sand skis are really good for some muscle group somewhere, I'm not sure. Not good for my knees though, don't like this. Good morning. It's Saturday in Bucharest, Romania. It's fairly sunny outside, which is great because the forecast said that it might be raining. We'll find out if that happens. The first thing that I want to do and the main thing that I want to do is go get coffee. And thankfully, I have some recommendations made by Laura, who met some Romanians in Paris, who knew some great coffee shops in Bucharest. So I'm going to be going to one of those, the nearest one, of course. I figured that today, yesterday we saw the parliament. We went and saw a bunch of fountains. We actually wandered. I wandered a fair amount yesterday, a lot more than I actually wanted to because I just wanted food and I kept wandering. I'm about to do the same thing by just continually, I sat down and got some work done this morning instead of going and getting food and coffee, which is kind of, it's a personal problem. What can I say? I, I tend to not, to not eat when I should. So we're gonna wander along the edge of Old Town to get to coffee first. Then there's a basilica and a nunnery to see, pretty much right next to us here. And then apparently a really big park. And then between those three things, I'm sure we'll find a bunch of random stuff to see along the way. Hopefully find something else to eat because, you know, food, and uh, that's pretty much what we have on the docket for today. Let's-a go. You should probably come with me, it's gonna be boring if I leave you in here. Still the funniest part to me. Yesterday when I did exchange some cash, I did it inside this 24 hour kebab. It's not as sketchy as it sounds. It's not, I, I, I'm not gonna go in there and film them, it's not as sketchy as it sounds. There are a ton of coffee shops around here, so I can see how it'd be easy to get distracted. Go for the quickest and fastest one. But the one I'm going to, I actually forget the name entirely. I will, I'll just show it to you. There's a chance that I won't be able to pronounce it properly anyways. And uh, yeah, it looks delicious. And it's only like another block and a half away. It's not very far from my Airbnb. My Airbnb is right on the edge of Old Town, which is supposed to be party central. And it is, the nightlife here is Kind of nuts. Doesn't really start until like one in the morning by reputation. And I did end up out for quite a while last night. I got trapped inside my Airbnb. The gate to get out, the button wouldn't respond. So I was like standing in the middle of the building's courtyard, like, what do I do? And then a bunch of French guys came out and this walked out. They managed to get the button to work just fine. And they're like, hey, you here alone? Come with us. So I ended up having dinner with them and then went out for a while and should have gone to bed sooner, but uh, had a good time, feeling fine. And um, that's my random story. I came all the way to Bucharest just to hang out with a bunch of French guys. Who knew? Oh no, I can say this name before you go. I'm pretty sure I can get away with that. That was delicious, and everything here is so inexpensive. It's great. Okay, time to wander into Old Town.
place is one giant tripping hazard. There's so many of those. Aside from that experience, I finally found the monastery, or the nunnery, I suppose, because according to the internet, nuns used to live here, not monks, but you know, whatever works. This feels more like King's Landing than a monastery. <laughs> it's really nice, it's really cool. That was really cool. It's really neat to see how different the styles are. It's so small. Kind of wonder like what they used all those chairs for. If it was for me, I just feel like it was for a council of nuns, if nothing else. But it's, it's really neat to see. It feels very close, but very nice. I don't know. I never, I've never been a huge fan of Eastern European styles, but it's definitely growing on me. I really, really liked that. Okay, I need to find lunch. I've been walking around for a wee bit longer than intended without having had a lunch. So let's find that, and then I'm gonna try and go to this park that's a ways away, and we'll see what we discover along the way to get there. There was a local spot that was recommended to me for actual Romanian food, but it's under construction, of course, so uh, there's another spot that I'm gonna go try later tonight, I think, but at the moment, I'm just looking for something tasty and in the shade. I thought pizza sounded good, but then I saw the pizza. <laughs> I'm in that space where I'm, I'm not gonna make any, I'm just gonna go, there's this lady that keeps smiling at me at that Irish pub over here, so you know what? I, you gotta visit an Irish pub in every country at some point, right? Although now I wanna try the Mexican place across the way. Maybe later. <laughs> I got the last Ground Zero IPA. It's a local beer. I, I figured if I'm gonna have like a completely non-local random lunch, I might as well make sure to at least have a local beer. Mm, definitely really bitter, but it's, it's tasty. I mean, I figured best of both worlds. Couldn't finish it. It was uh, a little, not only too much, but just, well, should know better. But I'm always tempted, I'm always, I miss it so much. I'm always tempted when I see it on the menu. I'm still using the Revolut card, like I'm able to pay everywhere with my phone, which is great. And what's so cool about it is that it automatically translates it into euros, which is my base currency, obviously, and keeps track of it. There are a lot of really cool little features about it. I actually genuinely really like it. I might have to pump it, I'm not gonna lie, might have to pump it. We'll see what happens when I get a physical card from them as well, but just being able to pay with my phone is super cool, something I haven't been able to do ever since I left America. I'm gonna step inside here really quick, drink some water, get some work done, stay out of the sun for a minute. It should get a little bit cooler, but we are also fighting the clock because it's supposed to get thunderstormy tonight. We'll see if that actually happens or not. But there's a park I wanna go see. I think it's the King's Park up north of here. And I met a local who gave me the suggestion of going to an ice cream place called Sweetology, which I'm also currently interested in. I never get ice cream, so you know what? It's a hot day, why not? But first I gotta get some work done. Wait. <laughs> All right, I got some work done. That was lickety split. Yanni pointed out that, uh, you know, vampires and mirrors don't go well together, so maybe that's why they're all in here to double check that I'm not a vampire, or gives you lots of opportunities to also see if somebody is a vampire if they're walking around. Much more likely if there are mirrors all over the place. Oh, there's just a lot of mirrors in here. Okay, let's, we gotta go. The main, I just realized that uh, in order to make my flight tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to get up at four. I gotta basically leave by 4.15. That is not how I want it. I gotta stop flying as cheap as possible. This is absolutely brutal. So I, uh, thankfully, I mean, I got up, you know, at like five, two days ago, and then stayed up until three or so last night, and now I'm getting up at four tomorrow. So it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna feel kind of terrible, but I should be able to go to sleep at a decently early hour today, and uh, hopefully still get some sleep tonight, because if not, I'm in a lot of trouble. 
So we're gonna rush to see the park and get some ice cream still, because why not? And that gives me an opportunity to take an Uber, which I've been told multiple things, that it's illegal or that it's in a gray zone, but it's what we used last night. And because the taxis are actually really sketchy around here, we found that out last night because they were trying to scam us. And the guy realized, once he realized that we were paying attention and that we were wanting the meter to run, like we kept tapping the meter and being like, hey, why is the meter running? Dude literally kicked us out of the taxi. He was like, all right, get out. <laughs> so be careful with the taxis here for sure. Be, yeah, double check with the meters. But uh, in the interim, Uber does, does seem to work just fine. So that's how I'm gonna get out of here. So it's just so affordable, it's, especially since I've got to get through, get around town quickly. It makes total sense to you. Okay, ice cream then park. That's really good. Sweet ologized. Okay, I need to call for another car so we can go see the park. And then I gotta put all this together and try to get some sleep. Nice crosswalk over here. This is a big park. He was a little bit upset that there wasn't a uh, street number that he could drop me off at. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a walk through the park. No idea what's in here. It does look pretty huge. We'll uh, take a stroll. And there you have it, King Mihai, I think, or King Michael's Park. Nice big park. If I if I ever make it back here, I'm gonna go on a boat ride on the lake up there because that looked awesome. That would be high on my list. Thanks for joining me for Progress. Thanks again to my patrons for sending me. Had a great time. I wish I, this is the lesson that I'm learning. I can't I can't keep flying super cheap because it ends up eating away at precious time in the location. So I might have to swear off the budget airlines unless I find like both good and convenient deals because the timing rough and I'd rather have had more time here but it's my own fault for trying to save a dime and also being you know I don't know ridiculous with my planning I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for the very very dark and early departure for Paris Whew. I am looking forward to getting back to Paris at least that's for sure if we can enjoy Bucharest Arc de Triomphe as an appetizer This world clock makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs>